We've known for a long time in the field of dementia care that music is a very powerful and a very useful way of supporting people with dementia to live well. At Avery we have partnered with the charity Playlist for Life to enhance the lives of our residents. And the essence of Playlist for Life is that every single one of us has a playlist inside of us and each one of us has music, a genre or a song that we will go to when we need cheering up or a, a song that we go to when we need to calm down or feel more soothed. And our staff in our homes work with the families of people with dementia to create that playlist. The experience with Playlist for Life has been fantastic. Um, not only is it, um, does it open up memories for people, but it also gives you a fantastic insight to their lives. Um, what kind of music they, they enjoyed when they were maybe a bit younger. Um, and like I say, it just helps you to kind of develop a, a relationship or like a, a common ground and the music is the common ground that kind of brings it together. We've got a, a resident uh, who's living with us here at Acer Court and he's, um, he's from Jamaica um, and he was uh, used to own a record shop in the centre of Nottingham and he was the first kind of reggae record shop there was. We've started doing a little bit of work on his playlist um, and I'm, I'm a big fan of reggae music and um, I got talking with him and he said that he used to go back to Jamaica to buy records from Bob Marley. Um, so that, that was a, an exciting thing, an exciting story that really got me buzzing about it. And, um, yeah. The benefits of introducing Playlist for Life, so it's not only absolutely fantastic for our um, residents and families, the staff, the staff have engaged so much um, they feel closer to the residents and their families. They, they care about, so it's not just a care for, it's very much care about the resident and the family, absolutely. I think the, the possibilities are endless with the, with the technology with something like um, the Amazon Echo because there's so much you can do in there and like I say you can you could even you could even set it as you know a wake up call so you could wake up to maybe some of your favorite music or you know if you like classical music you wake up to a bit of classical music so my first experience um, with um, people living with dementia this was a long time before I'd actually worked in care but my partner is a singer in care home so she entertains um, and I'd gone along to watch her and I'd sat with a lady um, and she wasn't making you couldn't quite understand what she was saying she was mumbling quite a lot and she wasn't quite coherent um, and then as soon as the music started she sang every single word of every single song that was on and it's just amazing that that's that's all locked away in the mind there and it just takes music to kind of bring that out so, um. we know that there is a very strong connection between emotions and music and memories and we've seen some great results of residents that we've been able to connect with who per perhaps we've really struggled previously to connect with. So a resident for whom we've understood the significance of a particular song, who we've really been able to find ways of communicating effectively with that resident. And not only the resident, but the family. And families have said that, you know, just for a little while, mum or dad have, have come back. 